everybody, I'm Allie from Forever Homestead and today we are getting bees. Well, what do you have? Over here, it does nine. there are bees. There's lots of them. Okay. I'm just gonna watch enough sunlight here, maybe I'll catch her yeah, she's on there. Because in those other boxes, they're so deep, I couldn't find them in there. <laughs> they spread out now, I've got them in here. Keep going in the van, there's a bale. Something's hard to see. Yeah. Anyway, it's it's got a lot of bones running around, too, and eh? they look kind of like the same. Yeah, they look. Yeah, I just keep going to them. And so, how long do you figure it'll be before the, the second diesel will have to go on? Oh, well, you got that much right there already, a B, so. But it takes them longer when they have to draw, you know. But okay. Uh, um, it, it really depends on uh, what the weather's going to be going nice now. Because we're getting in the deep. It's up there anyway. Okay. I think it looks at trees here. It looks like about two weeks. Okay. Usually about the last week, something like that. Yeah. Roughly in uh, June. Okay. I see the little farm open or something like that. It's a commercialized bass which we see them in malls and stuff. They look like they got about a week ago and they're always ahead of the wild ones. This is all for the eggs, so this will be capped over. Capped over. Well, I tried to get a variety so you got a different speed. Some hatching and some would be later hatching, so you got bees coming on time. Okay. I don't see her on there, but it'd be nice if she was in there because she know like these bees know her, eh? Yeah. The new queen, uh, they won't know, but that's, we'll do an introduction, I'll tell you how to do it. Okay. So what about the frames that we already have in there? What happens to those ones? Well, they'll, 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 they'll draw those. That's, that's what you need to, to fill the space. But then if you don't do that, they're going to do a cone hanging on the top. This near is pretty well solid cone. Or oh, brood, yeah. I should say. You see her? Uh, no, I haven't seen her. I don't think she's in here. There's a drone running there. But, so is, you know. that's brood then, isn't it? This is all brood, cat yeah. brood, yeah. So this will be hatching shortly, so you're going to see your numbers really jump from that too. Two sides of that, there's a lot of bees to come here. Yeah, she's not on there. I can see. Sometimes it's hard to spot them. They get in little cracks to try to hide on you. That's the bee that has to survive, and you know, if anything gets her, they're done, eh? They're euchred, so. They're not marked at all, are they? No, no, these aren't. No, uh, well, the one I'm going to give you, I don't think this one, this one might be if it's original in there. That's right. Well, Allison wants to collect wax and make candles and things, so. Oh, yeah. lots of bees on this one. Yeah, this one here is Is that an adult queen? Like... No, those are all drones. Are they? Well, if you see one that's no hair on her, that's what they have bald and start oh. with. The drones have hair, you know, on their thorax there. Mm-hmm. Gonna be a heck of a lot of bees hatch here in a short time. I don't want to cool this brood too much, but we got to look here. The younger queen, if, you know, if I did miss her, for, but she's not in there. Um, if I did miss her, the younger queen's more agile and she'd kill us and right off the bat. They'd have a fight and uh, always one rules. The older one would be uh, laying more eggs so she's bigger and heavier and she wouldn't be able to handle the young one. There's something going on here, but probably just covering up brood. Yeah, just trying to keep it warm while they're doing that. Okay, so we just, there's no queen here, so we'll, we'll get the queen in the house and I'll tell you how to put her in there. Okay. We're good. That's good. You get a, a fresh young queen is the best bet anyway, I tell you too. Should change them once a year, um, certainly every second year. If, oh, they, okay. if they haven't done it, do it because the younger queen is just more, just more prolific and they always win her better, mm -hmm. they always work harder and lay harder. And, yeah. okay. Now we're not going to put her in. Sorry? Oh, I don't, I don't bring in any stock from outside. This one's a lost. Yeah, I'm going to put them in that box. Mm -hmm. No, I don't bring any stock there. We do our own grafting. Okay. We have to make a time and we 
easy, you know, if you had 30 queens hatching, you might get uh, 25 of the best at the back, because usually birds get some, some just mix up and go in the wrong box and all kinds of stuff. Or the weather's rotten, a lot worse than that, actually. It's just a case of picking good days. Thank goodness I didn't have a batch that was mating in the last two days. And you know, it's been, eh? Yeah, with that, that cool. This morning was 39 That's degrees true. here. Yeah. I couldn't believe that. Yeah. Uh, but it soon warmed up. But it, you know, and I was kind of a jerk having out, because it was hot. So I, jack, I always jack my, my lids up, set them up on top, you know, and pull it, I have a hole on the inside so they can get air because, you know, they get hot in there. Yeah. Right? And they do so much time fanning that they lose, you know, they mm -hmm. wear themselves out for nothing. So yeah. I'm going to have to get this a little battle here. Right? So, you know, you got space here to do that. <laughs> It used to me like they'd bang them up higher up. They used to fly in there and have a clue where to go. They're not used to being here. They're just being out in the other yard. So they'd be looking for their other spot. You know? yeah, that's the best we can do. Hey, you can put the lid on her. We won't put that queen in until tomorrow. We'll give them a overnight to realize they don't have a queen. Okay. They actually need a little more time than that, but like to, you don't want to have her up too long. So okay. we'll just put the lid on there and then... Uh, so what happens when they notice that they don't have a queen? Sorry? What happens when they notice that they don't have a queen? They already know. You hear that noise? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're looking and wondering. They already, they're pretty smart that way. Sometimes. <laughs> There's days when they are and days when they're not. They're the pool sometimes. Well that's the new I had one this year that I put three queens in. I don't think they got one yet. Mm. Well, there's no reason for it. Just, I don't know. Just don't take it. Sometimes you just have to forget about them. Put another box, a good hybrid on top of them. Put a screen between them so they get to know each other and then let them have their two, three days like that and then let the other hive take over. And then, and then you can, once you get going, you got two big ones in, you can split them and put a queen in there. Because they think they have some. Sometimes they think they have a queen and it might be a drone layer, like it's a, mm -hmm. a bee laying, like, you know, making out she's a queen and she'll lay in for herself a tad. say thanks for checking out our video uh, we like making them we hope you enjoy watching them uh, if you do want to continue seeing more please make sure you like this video and also subscribe to our channel we've got lots more information coming on the bees on moving to the and starting our homestead uh, sailing trip down there all kinds of stuff coming up so click that subscribe button